Hi guys, this is Dennis. Welcome back to our algebra review session. So today is our day three, and now we'll be working on how to simplify the algebraic expression. Okay, so before we do that, we have to know what is an algebraic expression. So basically, uh, an algebraic expression is just any combination with the number, the integer, and also the operations. So suppose we have a single number like two here, that is called an algebraic expression. Or if we just have a single variable, like we have the A, it's also just an algebraic expression. Of course, we can also include the operations, like we can include the addition, we can also include the division, okay? So these ones will be called the algebraic expressions. But just to be careful, we cannot have equal sign or inequality. So suppose we have a, like a equals to two, this one will not be an algebraic expression. Okay, so just something to be careful with. Okay, now that is all about the basic definition of the algebraic expression. But how can we simplify them? So to simplify the algebraic expressions, it's all about the like terms. So for the like terms, these are the terms with the same variables and the same powers. And the coefficient of the like terms can be different, right? So let's take a look at some of the examples. Suppose I have a 2x and then we have a 3x, okay? So this is just mean that we have a 2 times x and then we have a 3 times x, okay? And then do they have the same variable? We see that these two terms, they have the same variable, right? They both have the x. And then the exponents on the x are both one. So in this case, they have the same variables and also they have the same powers. That means they are the like terms, okay? Now, what if I have a 2x square and then we have a 3x. Now they still have the same variable x. However, we see they have different powers because the first one is x to the power of two and the other one is just an x, okay? So the first one will be a pair of like terms and then the other one is not like terms, okay? So once we identify the like terms, we can just combine the like terms by combining the coefficients, okay? Why do we want to combine the coefficients? Or why do we want to combine the number in front of these variables? Because we can use the distributive property, okay? Which is what we learned in uh, day two. And now, just uh, if we want to combine the 2x and 3x, suppose we have the addition, 2x plus 3x. We see that they both contain an x, so we can use the distributive law to factor out this x. So we have a x multiplied by a 2 plus 3, okay? And then inside these parentheses, we have a two plus three that equals to five. So X times the five here, that equals to five X, okay? So we see that to combine two like terms, we just need to combine their coefficients and keep all the variables we have. So this is just some der derivation from the distributive law, okay? Now let's see how we can actually use these like terms to simplify some of the algebraic expressions. So for the first one, we have to first identify the like terms. And then for the first question here, we see that for the term uh, M here, we only have one term with the M. So we can just copy down the answer here. And then we move on to the constants, which is just the numbers. And then for the constant here, we have a minus three, and then we have a minus one. So remember a negative three minus one, is just like a negative three plus a negative one. In this case, the result will just be minus four. Okay, so this one will be the simplified version of these algebra expressions. Now, let's look at the second one, right? So the first one should be just straightforward. And now for the second one, again, we have to first identify the like terms. And we see that for the term A, what do we have? For the term A, we have a 2A and then we have a minus 2A, right? So we have these two like terms here. And then to combine the like terms, we just need to combine their coefficients, which in this case is just a two minus two. Okay, and we still keep the same variable. And then we move on to the next one, which is the B. So for the B here, we have a three B and we have a minus B, okay? So what is the coefficient for minus B? That is just a minus one, right? So in this case, we need to add the three and then minus one B, okay? So just combine your coefficients. Now, what is the coefficient for the A? The coefficient is two minus two, which is just a zero. Okay, so it's just a zero multiplied by a. And the next one, we have a three minus one. So we have a two times b. Now we know that zero times any number is just a zero. So we actually, we don't need to write down the a, right? And then the two times b will still be just two b. 
So the final result here will be 2B, right? We have no A terms because the 2A and the minus 2A actually cancel out. Okay. All right. Now move on to the next one. So here for this algebra expressions, we only have two terms. That is the one over two x squared and then one over three x squared. Okay. And these two terms are also like terms because they got the same variables and they got the same uh, powers. So now just combine your like terms. We have a one over two minus the one over three and then x to the power of two. Okay. So now in the coefficient, we just have a subtraction with the variables or with, with the fractions. So just find the common denominator, which is a six. We have the three over six minus a two over six, x to the power of two. And then since they have the same denominator, we can just calculate their numerators, which is three minus two, and then that equals two one. So the final result would just be one over six, x to the power of two, okay? And that would just be the answer. So don't forget, once you get the final result, to check if we have the uh, simplified version. So make sure we have no more like terms, and then all these um, parentheses has been breaking down, okay? So that's it for today's section here. And um, we do have a few more practice, okay? So make sure we uh, complete this practice on your own and then just upload that to the WeChat group, okay? So thank you guys for joining us. I will see you guys uh, tomorrow, okay? Thank you.